Hello, it's Ricardo and I'm playing Elite Dangerous 2.3 The Commanders. Now, since the 2.3 update came out, an awful lot of the ways of making money and ways of um, getting raw materials and rare materials has been taken away. So I thought I'd get into my Imperial Cutter, that's been recently named as the Badger's Lust, and take a trip from the current station at where I am back to the Aurora system. Now that's spelt O-R-E-R-R-E. -E. It's not so far, it's about six or seven jumps. So that'll also give me a bit of time to play with the new camera and see what sort of shots I can get with that as well. It's my hope really that even though the places like Robigo Mines and Draconis, quite rightly so in my opinion, um, have been nerfed or have been fixed so that you can only have so many stackable missions. It's my hope that the rare materials um, that you can get through the multiple cargo racks in the ore system at the crash ship site is still working. Now I recently did a video on this that was put onto YouTube um, and yeah I suppose it is circumventing the game mechanics in a way I suppose it is because you are logging out you're logging back in the cargo racks appear you shoot those cargo racks and out come those rare ma materials so even though it's about 10 jumps away and I've got my Imperial Cutter, the Badger's Lust, all engineered up I think at least to a grade 4 hyperdrive and I've got to get some more in regard to that I know. Um, I've had to stop off and do some refueling and I've got it fitted with a fuel scoop. Once I get into system I'm going to dock at the um, space station. Sharon Lee Free Market and that way then, if I get destroyed in system, hopefully I won't get destroyed in system, then at least I'll spawn back at that station. And now using this camera I found that you can get some quite good shots and you can still try and attempt to land at some really weird camera angles as well. This one was particularly tricky, but it's tricky the best of times getting a ship like that through that aperture, but even from an obscure angle, it is quite, is quite weird. So once in Sharon Lee Free Market, we're going to go to Guin Survey. That is not far from where that damaged ship is. And once you get close, it will show up as a point of interest on the navigation map. And there is the Badger's List in all its glory with a vibrant paint pack on it and its nameplate, which actually isn't actually a nameplate, it's like a spray job on the side of the ship. Okay, and it's time to go. So from this angle, will I actually get it through the aperture? Well, I'm afraid that's going to be between me and the docking master of that station. So here we are, we're on, a, on approach, you should get close, like I mentioned earlier on, the crash ship does come up as a point of interest, so and that's quite handy, as opposed to going through the latitude and longitude coordinates. It doesn't ta take that long to get there, um, go in, get a good angle, glide in, and it'll take you directly to that point of interest. In the glide now, using the boot to try and get there a bit quicker. It may not make any difference, but it certainly seems gratifying and it looks pretty good as well from outside using the new free camera. Although I can't seem to get it as smooth to rotate and I must have the key bindings wrong and that must be something I've got to look at um, at a later date. So there's the crash ship. 
It's at the bottom of a canyon. Very high walls either side, so be very careful when you're approaching. This planet seems always to be dark and seems to be always facing away. The dark side of this planet always got you in pitch darkness. So use of the ship lights, use of the lights on the scarab is a mess to see what you're doing. So there it is. There is a crashed anaconda. We'll see if you can get in a little bit closer. You can see all the wreckage, as in one of my other videos, all strewn around. There you go. So from the outside, it's had a right old nose plant into that planet. Okay, so that's the ship we're gonna go and inspect. Let's get the scarab out and let's go exploring. So here we are, scarab deployed. Here we go, deploy. Let's get those lights on. and get over that ridge. And the new camera does get you some good looks inside the cockpit and from different angles of the scarab, things that you may not have seen before. I'm not sure I'll have to read the release notes to see whether the graphics have indeed been upgraded it certainly looks like it has. It seems to be more, in my opinion, it looks more realistic. Now I'm using um, only a small card really. It's a GTX 1050 Ti, um, super clocked. It was one I could afford, one of the cheapest ones I could get my hands on. Couldn't spring for a 1060 or certainly couldn't spring for a 1080. So we found the cargo racks. into the turret, you shoot them, they spew out their materials, so we got tellurium, let's go scoop it up, now incidentally let's go and log out of this let's board hop i know there are two other cargo racks here but the purpose of this video let's see if they respawn and they give us more rare materials so now we've um, gone back into the game not even a board hop we've just come out and logged back in i'm currently playing in solo mode because this area can be a bit hot and if you've got your ship parked anywhere then you will get your ship destroyed of course, you can always dismiss the ship, but I was just in solo, it's easier. So all the cargo is still strewn around. There's a cargo rack. You shoot it and take it from me. It respawns more material. So this time we've got antimony. So this still does work. So I went back and tried to rescan the ship uh, and its data core and um, that was telling me that it had already been scanned. Well that was the same as what it was a couple of days ago when I did my last video. But the good news is you can still get materials. And if you were that way inclined you could also pick up all the other canisters like bertrandite and beryllium and palladium and gold that are laying around. So here we go, we're up front of the cargo rack. Uh, 
Unleash the Green Death on it. Athenium. Let's go and pick that up. So good, a little bit of relief, especially for those commanders who are doing the engineer missions and need some of these rare materials. Let's go back and check the cargo rack by the downed anaconda. We're a little bit too close, we're going to have to move out the way. It's a shame this planet just couldn't rotate towards the sun. Just one so you could see what's going on. It's all very quite dark. Right, there's the rack. Let's shoot it. And there you go. Zirconium and Telerium. So, that still works. And it's like a good thing, really. Um, at least you know of a way where you can get these, these items now for your engineering upgrades. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Ricardo. This has been Elite Dangerous 2.3. The Commanders. Please look out for more videos in the series and I'll see you soon.